Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the Wild Sea Atlantic Ocean Heritage Route. Now, many of Europe's best diving spots are actually in the Atlantic Ocean. Did you know? But some people are afraid of diving in cold waters. Well, we've got news. A dry suit would provide you the comfort to explore the marine environment while keeping you dry and warm. Now, even if you're a new diver, diving with a dry suit is perfectly doable just as long as you take into account some very basic do's and don'ts. So, before jumping into the water, let's go through some tips. Dry suits are designed to allow better insulation, making them more suitable to use in cold water as the air inside the suit acts as extra insulation. You should wear them with the appropriate clothes underneath, something warm and flexible that allows you to move freely. Before you start putting on your dry suit, make sure first that you take out the pair of straps. Otherwise, you may have to take the suit out and start all over again. Before entering completely into your dry suit, remember to put on your straps on your shoulders. As you put on your dry suit, check that all the dry suit seals are well folded and tight. Close the entry zipper. It might be a bit difficult due to the seal it produces, but you must make sure it is well zipped until the end, as to ensure that no water will come in. Now stand up and try to feel any kind of tightness around your body. To finish, Open your neck a little bit and crunch down in order to release the air inside. Now you're ready to go. An important feature of the dry suit is that it has two valves. The one in your chest lets air into the suit and the one in your left arm releases the air out. When you dive with a dry suit, you will use your BCD for buoyancy, just like with a regular wetsuit. However, you have to take into account that the dry suit creates an additional airspace around you, which affects your buoyancy. Once you jump into the water and start descending, make sure to inflate your suit little by little using the valve on the chest, so that it doesn't compress your body and you end up as if you have been vacuum packed. Now, be patient and trust your gear. If you inflate your dry suit too much, you might end up upside down. You might also have to do some maneuvers in order to take the extra air from your legs and feet. If you're going up, then remember to release air from the dry suit to keep the buoyancy. Now that you're neutrally buoyant, you're ready to enjoy your dive. Have fun! Oh, and another advantage of diving in a dry suit? You won't be cold once you've finished your dive either, and you will be ready to go. Now that you know how to dive in a dry suit, go on and find your next diving experience along the Wild Sea Atlantic Ocean Heritage Route in www dot wildc dot eu three two one enjoy your dive